Trump stuns everyone in Houston with first thing he did as soon as he entered the room. Just a little over a week ago, Hurricane Harvey made landfall in southeast Texas which caused tremendous devastation along the coastal areas. Thousands of people have lost their homes, belongings, and even their loved ones in this catastrophic storm. As victims of this terrible storm are attempting to pick up the pieces of their lives, the left has been doing their best to politicize this natural disaster. Right off the bat, those in the mainstream media were quick to criticize President Trump and Melania for their attire and short visit last week. Of course, these liberal morons were far off base in the analysis of the situation and even when corrected they wouldn't listen. At any rate, President Trump just silenced all his naysayers with what he just did after arriving in Houston, Texas. Say Donald J. Trump, Texas, we are with you today, we are with you tomorrow, and we will be with you every single day after, to restore, recover, and rebuild. President Trump is constantly bashed by the left no matter what he does. Just recently, the United States was hit by horrible Hurricane Harvey that has left 40 dead. President Trump has been quick in his response time and has shown tremendous leadership and compassion to those suffering from this disaster. But, not only has President Trump been quick to help with federal aid, but he has donated $1 million of his own money to the victims of Harvey. However, that does not seem to matter to the left as they continue to lambast the commander-in-chief. Well, they may be eating some humble pie now after what Trump was caught doing this weekend. Trump and our lovely First Lady Melania Trump visited the victims of Hurricane Harvey as well as loaded supplies into vehicles that were going to shelters and, that is not all that President Trump did. President Trump was seen playing with children of all races, handing out coloring books, and serving up food to all the evacuees. Here is more from Yahoo. Trump, 71, was joined by his wife, Melania as he passed out food and hugged, kissed, and played with children at the Kid Zone in Houston's NRG Center, a 700,000-square-foot, 65,000-square-meter, facility that was turned into the city's largest emergency shelter. The day was a rare glimpse into Trump's interactions with everyday Americans outside his campaign-style rallies. The former real estate magnate appeared relaxed as he posed for photographs with volunteers and chatted with evacuees alongside Texas Governor Greg Abbott. It has been a wonderful thing, Trump said of his meetings with the children as he served food to evacuees amid shouts of thank you, sir. Trump, who declared Sunday a national day of prayer, also went to a church in nearby Pearland, where he and his wife helped load half a dozen cars with boxes of supplies for victims. He said the volunteer work was good exercise. Trump also visited a neighborhood that had sustained flooding but had dried out to greet residents and praise them for doing a fantastic job holding it together. The visit came after a week of historic flooding in the area killed at least 40 people, displaced more than 1 million and dumped as much as 50 inches, 127 centimeters, of rain. Trump asked Congress late on Friday for an initial $7.85 billion for hurricane recovery efforts. The request comes as Washington faces tough budget negotiations. Say Pat Ward, as he puts on plastic gloves to serve food at NRG Stadium, President Trump turns to press and says, my hands are too big. This is such a huge testament to his character and even though it shows what a wonderful man he is you know the left will do their best to spin it negatively. Already in a Yahoo article, the reporter throws in there that natural disasters do not typically help approval numbers and claim that Trump has a 59% disapproval rating. The trip may have political implications for Trump. According to the Reuters Ipsos tracking poll, almost 59% of the public disapproves of Trump's performance as president. Andrew Smith, a political science professor at the University of New Hampshire, said Trump had done well overall in coordinating federal assistance and showing concern on Saturday for those affected by Harvey. But he would likely see little change in his poll numbers due to scrutiny of his administration's other policies. You can be as empathetic as you want but if your administration isn't seen as competent in dealing with the problem, it's not going to help you, Smith said. Say Alex. President Trump is handing out food boxes and meeting with hashtag Harvey victims in Houston.
We will get through this and rebuild hashtag Texas strong. The left can say what they want, but they cannot take away what a wonderful man Trump really is. Trump has shown during this horrible natural disaster the type of leader he is and that is one of compassion and strength. Trump and Melania both have proved to everyone around the globe that they truly care about people no matter what their race or ethnicity is. Trump is not a racist or a bigot he just has a love of country and a desire to make America great again. By Trump and Melania going to Texas and helping out they are demonstrating what it really means to be an American and that means helping your neighbor out. Share if you are proud of our president and first lady. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it and follow up and thank you for watching.